Hi Chris here from Truly Holistic. In this video I'm going to talk about the difference between pharmaceuticals and nutraceuticals, okay? You're probably asking, well I know Chris, right? But what I'm trying to talk about here is the expectations of the effect of a pharmaceutical versus a supplement, like a nutraceutical, okay? We have been so indoctrinated and programmed to think that if we don't get an effect a, a, a release or, or a relief from taking a supplement within a few hours that uh, it's not working okay because we were so accustomed to taking a, 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 a pain reliever like an anti-inflammatory or a pharmaceutical and getting relief within 15 20 minutes sometimes okay so I'm going to explain this now pharmaceutical uh, uh, pharmaceuticals are, are very potent okay so potent that there is a very small therapeutic window that we need to keep it within because if we don't it becomes toxic okay to the body and uh, can cause people actually have died you know from an intentional overdose or just mishandling pharmaceuticals and not even mishandling them in fact taking pharmaceutical com uh, pharmaceuticals and dying from pharmaceuticals okay I think it's in America it's like uh, the fifth or fourth or fifth uh, highest uh, cause of death okay after your life I think it's like heart disease cancer uh, and one more I think and then after that it's from prescribed pharmaceuticals not not we're not talking about street drugs here we're talking about pharmaceuticals that have been prescribed for use safe use medications that are deemed to be researched and shown to be safe to use but saying that we must also explain that pharmaceutical com uh, pharmaceuticals come with a lot of side effects okay and that which can lead to death okay so you've got to be very careful with them they may give you give you a um, relief within a 15 20 minutes or an hour if you're suffering with pain or inflammation or, or, or an issue or lower your blood pressure very quickly if you have high blood pressure but those side effects will strip nutrients from elsewhere in the body and over the long term cause a lot of, a lot of other health problems to occur so that's pharmaceuticals and that's the effect that we expect from them or we should expect from them now nutraceuticals on the other hand uh, what if it is more of a long-term res resolution okay we should never really look at a nutraceutical and getting relief very quickly it's more about the long term so therefore we shouldn't we're creating an environment to never get pain or, or to never have inflammation or really reduce the inflammation inflammation within the body or, or, or so and so on so and one of the biggest things that people a lot of the time do they don't take a high enough dosage of a nutraceutical or a supplement now they quite often go by the recommended or suggested dose on the bottle or the packet of the product that they bought one thing you need to understand that a lot of most of the supplement industry comes from pharmaceutical companies okay so they they put it at a dose that really is not going to compete with the pharmaceuticals that they're selling well why why would they promote nutraceuticals and, and and things that you find naturally in this world that you can actually even grow or buy quite a lot of the time to <laughs> to kind of out compete the pharmaceuticals that they sell you know they are a business that's number one okay so I hear this a lot with a lot of people, they, they take a supplement, they take it at, the, at a very minimal dose and they try it for a, a few days or a week or two or maybe even longer, like a month and like, it's doing nothing. Quite often, they haven't given it long enough to, to take the supplement and more importantly, they haven't taken it the, a high enough dose. And the one thing, there's the complete opposite uh, and polarity between a pharmaceutical and a supplement. As a pharmaceutical, you definitely need, need to be very strict with the dosage as I explained just before. Uh, there is a very small therapeutic window you need to stay within, otherwise it could kill you, it's, it's toxic. Now, with a supplement, on the other hand, especially when we get into extract supplements, you gotta be a little bit more careful with the dosages, but with whole food supplements, quite often your body will, will tell you when, when you're getting a little bit excess, 
with, with the dosage, okay? And usually, most of the time, it will be a bit of, bit of digestive uh, intolerance. You, you may get a bit of a tummy ache or a stomach ache, and that's you, or a little bit of loose bowel or diarrhea, and that's your body telling you, hey, back off on the dosage, okay? Um, yeah, and that includes things like vitamin C and uh, MSM, which is a very good anti natural anti-inflammatory. And a lot of supplements are like that. And quite often when you want to compete with this pharmaceutical effect of getting an effect a lot faster, you need to be taking these supplements at a much higher dose, okay? For example, with MSM, you want to be getting at least up to 5 grams or more, okay? And quite often you see MSM in a lot of bottles that are in capsules of 1,000 milligrams, so 1 gram. Quite often people will just stick to that, but you can... You can take up to 5 grams, 10 grams, 15 grams, 20 grams of MSM in a day. So that's 20 capsules in a day. And that's why I really encourage people to get more in bulk and get the powder instead of getting encapsulation. There's a lot cheaper way of doing it and plus it allows you to be empowered with the dosage that you may need. Depending on how you feel. And that's another good gauge to go by is how you feel. As I said, the body will tell you if you're taking too much of a supplement or nutraceutical and you just take the amount that gives you relief so if you're that will take MSM uh, as we're talking about it as an example and if you've got knee pain and you start off you want to start off slowly so as a recommended dose so at about a, uh, one gram so 1000 milligrams and if you get affected by that and your knees feeling a lot better we'll stick to that dosage but if you feel like Hey, I'm not really feeling the effect. Don't give up on it. Increase your dosage. Okay, and you go up 2,000, 3,000, up to uh, 5,000 milligrams, which is a teaspoon of the powder. And then all of a sudden, if you need to take it twice a day, take it twice a day. Experiment with it. Stick with it. Again, a lot of these supplements accumulate over a period of time in regards to its effect on the body. So you have to take it over a long period of time and play with the dosage, increase the dosage, and it, you'll notice it does wonders, okay? And this, this can prevent someone going and getting knee, a knee operation, knee replacement surgery done, or, or having to take these pharmaceuticals, because when you take MSM, it's a sulfur compound, it has, it's a mineral that you, the body requires. A lot of the times, you, you're not gonna get side effects. The only side effect you're gonna get if you are taking too much of a higher dosage, okay? It's not gonna deplete you in other areas, like a pharmaceutical, okay? And this could mean you never having to take a pharmaceutical, instead taking MSN to reduce your inflammation or your pain within the knee. Will it completely remove the problem? Most likely not, okay? It's just removing the symptom of the pain, okay? It's causing an anti-inflammatory effect. You need to dig a little bit deeper to find out what is causing your inflammation in your body. But saying that, we can use nutraceuticals and supplements for uh, alleviation of symptoms as well. It can be used to cure a problem for sure. I'm not a big fan of one thing, there's one thing that cures a problem. I think it's a, it's a whole number of things put together to, to change your lifestyle, okay? To do the opposite of what was your lifestyle before that created the problem to start off with. But anyway, I thought I'd do this video to talk about this because I, nutraceutical supplements do get a bad rap because again, we don't think of them in it. We think of them in a pharmaceutical way or programmed way that we've been told that if we don't get effect from it quickly, then it's not it, it's useless. It's not doing its job. When really we should be giving it a, a longer period of time for it, that effect to accumulate within the body, and also be wary of your dosages. Increase your dosages. The, the dosages that you recommend on most bottles for supplements is is, is nowhere near enough. Vitamin D is another. A, a perfect example, you know, vitamin D, anyone taking a thousand to two thousand units of vitamin D, it's not enough, okay, and that's what uh, quite often it's capsulated in, uh, again, depending on where you are on the planet, how much sun you get, obviously if you're close to the equator, you're going to get a lot more sun and a lot more potent vitamin D. Here in New Zealand, uh, where you know we're, we're, we're quite far south and people quite far north, then your capabilities of absorbing vitamin D diminish a lot. So you want to look for other sources of vitamin D, including a supplement. And quite often in winter, you want to be taking at least 6,000 units a day. 
maybe even 10,000 units of vitamin D, not one, okay? So do your research, okay, and don't, don't be too alarmed uh, uh, with uh, supplements because they are a lot more forgiving on the body compared to a pharmaceutical. So the body will tell you if you're having issues and, um, and remember the body is a communication. It, it speaks to you, it's telling you what to do, okay? Uh, it's there to help you. Okay, it's, it's a consciousness and it will tell you and keep those dosages up and, and give it a fair crack, give it a fair go with those, with those supplements and, and you'll reap, the, reap the, the benefits. Anyway, see you later.